any member of our House can bring forward an issue that they wish to have discussed or debated. They can uh, ask a question, they can put that question either in written form, in which case the government has to answer it, or they can put it in oral form, in which case it can be debated. They can bring forward a private member's bill. They can ask for issues uh, to be discussed by way of an amendment. So if a bill is coming through and something is uh, not agreed to by that member, they can bring forward the amendment and have it considered by the House, and then there will be a vote at the end of the debate where the House can determine whether they agree with that position or disagree. The big power that we have in the House of Lords is really to make the government think again, either to just stop and give us more time to look at legislation, or occasionally, particularly if we're coming up to the end of the year or coming up to the end of the Parliament when there's going to be a general election, uh, in those circumstances, the House of Lords can say, hang on, we don't think that you've got this quite right. We want you to think again. And particularly if it's at the end of a parliament or at the end of the parliamentary year, uh, time is against the government. So we can use that time to pressurise the ministers to think very carefully about what they're doing. That's our big power, a power of delay. The government does not agree with the committee's conclusions.